Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring you guys a cash stuffing. Yup. No budgeting involved this time. I went ahead and did the budgeting off camera and I have the cash stuffing tracker sheet and I'm just gonna do a straightforward cash stuffing for my sinking funds and cash envelopes. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. Okay, so a little bit about me. I'm an all cash budgeter. I am the creator of a few budget planners. This is one that I'll be using today called the Easy Cash Budget Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. This budget planner is created for bi-weekly pay periods. I'm gonna be using this to budget out my regular paycheck as well as the cash stuffing tracker. Today, I've already done the budgeting, so today we'll just be working with the cash stuffing tracker. If you're interested in this planner, the little key holder that I use, the cash wallet, anything you see in this video, pretty much is probably linked down below in my Amazon storefront. You can click down there if you're interested in purchasing anything, okay? A little bit about me in case you're new here. I am the single mom of three. One grown child lives out of the house. I have two small kids here with me um, and I am a nurse, a registered nurse. I recently just went and reduced my hours down to part-time as a registered nurse and then I have quite a bit of side hustles. If you didn't see my ideas for some side hustles, you should check it out. I'll link that video above because y'all, there's millions of ways to make money online and those were just a few, okay? But for this video, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stuff my regular paycheck, which is what I have left over after I've already budgeted for my bills, mortgage, 401k, and automatic savings out of my account. I am thinking of switching up some things here on my channel just because Working part-time, I have less money to stuff for a two-week period, so I'll be taking some of my side income money and doing cash stuffings in between. So you should see more cash stuffings, but probably for smaller amounts coming to you soon. And then also, I wanna get in the habit of stuffing my um, savings challenges more regularly, okay? So you'll be seeing that as well. So let's get into this particular cash stuffing. I put a paper clip, you guys know I love those paper clips the big ones, directly to the page of what we'll be stuffing for today. So for today, we'll just be stuffing some of the sinking funds and cash envelopes. I decided to include my dollar challenge in with my savings challenge video, okay? So you'll be seeing that come shortly. Um, and these are some smaller amounts, but you know what? Every dollar counts, and as I'm doing it more frequently, it will continue to grow. So let's get right into it. All right, let me just sit this over here to the side. I'll scoot the dollars down and we'll start with the cash envelopes first. My cash envelopes I keep inside this little key holder if you haven't been here before. Um, and I keep them in the back here. I don't have any ones or fives to drop in my ones challenge. I've really been spending them this last time. I didn't stash any money over there, but I do have some coins I also want to get out of here and I'll drop those. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have some coins, just a few, and I'm going to drop those inside the coin counter as well. So first, let's go ahead and stuff these little mini cash envelopes. These are what I carry around in my key holder for like day-to-day -day expenses. So I have something for the weekends because we usually do fun things on the weekends. I have one for gas, one for groceries, and then one just for myself. Um, so let's see, for the weekend is up first, and then gas and then groceries, okay. For the weekend, I decided to put $25, which should be enough for one weekend activity, and that's gonna be a 20 and a five. So that'll just be $25. If you saw the card that fell out, that was from a place called Main Event, and me and my kids went there and had a good time last weekend. So we've been kind of getting out every weekend to do something small, um, not too big, but $25 ought to be enough for the weekend. For myself, I'm just gonna take $20, and that'll be a $20 bill. I usually use this to get things like my nails. These are my press-on nails. These are ones that are super flashy. They're like hollow. <laughs> And I didn't expect them to look like this when they got on, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it. So $20 goes inside for me. Next is gas. That one's going to get $30, which is going to be a 20 and a 10. I used to stuff um, $80 per biweekly pay period. 
Um, but since I'm stuffing weekly, I decided to decrease it quite a bit because I'm not working as much. So I'm not driving back and forth to the hospital as much. So $30 ought to be enough to last me for a week. Um, and mainly I take my daughter to a school that's outside of our district. So that's where a lot of gas gets spent. Other than that, I really don't need that much. And then groceries, I'm going to go ahead and put $20, which I said four fives in case I just need a couple of things to help make us through for the week. I already went grocery shopping. I put a grocery store like quick haul and I also did a meal prep over on Instagram and I put it into my stories. So I had already spent about $100 on groceries before this cash stuffing. So this 20 ought to be enough. And if you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, come on over, say hi. I love to talk to you guys over there. Hit me in my DMs, I'm always responding. And I'll put my Instagram here on the screen. All right, so that's it as far as the cash envelopes. I have groceries, gas, Salisa, and weekends, and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those back inside my little key holder. They just sit down in there, and then the zipper goes over the tips. If I can get it over, there we go, zip it back up. And this I carry with me all the time. These little um, cash envelopes, as well as the larger sinking fund envelopes can be found in my Etsy store. The link is down in the description. All right, let me get my coin jar so we can put these few little coins in there. And so here's my coin jar. I feel like it's been getting neglected here recently, but it has $77.52 so far. And I'm gonna put the rest of these coins in. This looks to be about a dollar. So let's see, so I had a few quarters. I usually try to keep some change in the car and I didn't go out and get that change. So my next cash stuffing video, I'll add that in. Yeah, 78.54. So it was just about a dollar and two cents. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this to the side and that's it for now. I'm thinking later I will end up incorporating those coins towards the end of the year to go towards something special for myself. Not incorporating into any of my sinking funds, just something special that I wanna buy myself. You know, it'll end up being somewhere close to $100 that I wouldn't have had before. So that's a win. All right, so we're going to get straight into the sinking funds now. Let me sit this over here. First up is Janae. My kids had an odd amount of money, so I wanted to even them up. So let me get this out of here. These savings trackers that I keep track of what I have, they're listed down below for free, it's just a PDF you can print and cut them. If you cut, if you print them in color, they come out pink and white, but if you print them in black and white, this is exactly what they look like, gray and white, okay? So my daughter should have 385. That's one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 385. And I'm gonna be adding $15 to both of my kids' envelopes. So for Janae, today is the 28th. We'll say payday. So she should have an even 400 and so should my son. And that's 5, 10, 15 that I'm going to put inside of her wallet. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4. All right. So 400 from Miss Janae. All right, next is Jace, and he should be the exact same. I try to keep them the same just because sometimes they'll be hearing me. They're like, Mommy, how much do I have? And then the other one's like, you have more than I have. Uh-uh, I ain't got time. Um, <laughs> so I try to keep them the easy, the same way. So this is 400 for Jace. Right now he has 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 80, 385. And I'll be adding 15, 5, 10, 15. 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, $400 for Jace. Next is going to be car maintenance. You guys, I need to get some work done on my car for real. I know I said I need tires, but I really need some work done on my car. So I budgeted $50. It should have $385 in there. I mean, $685 in there now, which is one, two, three, four, 55, 56, 650, 670, 
680, $685, right. And I'm gonna add $50, which will just be a $50 bill. And that'll be one, two, three, four, four fifty five, five fifty six, six fifty seven, seven twenty, thirty, seven thirty five. I just did the math for myself because I was like, what is that? <laughs> twenty eight, twenty one. And we're gonna add fifty, which will be seven thirty five. Yeah, that's right. All right. Next is going to be household. So car maintenance might be reducing soon because I need to get some work done to my car. It's almost at 100,000 miles, and I know that's a big tune-up. So, And plus, I still need to get those tires. So, I mean, I got some things to do with that money. Um, next is going to be household. Household, I'm just putting 15, and it should have... 215 right now, which would be 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 210, 215, and I'll just add three fives. And that'll be 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 210, 15, 20, 25, 230. So 230, which we'll is update the tracker. And I'm excited to like go shopping and get some things for the house. I saw um, a video of Miss V here on YouTube and she got some stuff at Dollar Tree and I was like, whoa, I need to be getting some stuff from Dollar Tree. So I might take some money out of that and go buy some of those name brand products she had from Dollar Tree. I'm, I, it's like I shop at Dollar Tree, but not all the time. But when I see what people get there, I'm like, why am I not shopping there every week? Because I'm all about a deal. <laughs> okay, next is clothing and clothing. I'm going to put $50. It should have 125 now. That's 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 125. And I'm just going to put a $50 bill. Um, it's starting to get cold here in the mornings. I mean, fall is here, right? I guess I should just accept it. Um, so I'm going to go get my son a jacket and my daughter a couple of sweatshirts. So I said I'd put 50 in here this time. Um, because soon they're going to need those winter items. So this one should have 175. That'll be 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 175. Yup, them 50s ain't getting me no more, honey. I could count with some 50s. All right, next is medical. So I don't know if you guys remember, if you're here for a while, you probably know, I had a problem with my thumb here and I had to wear a splint. Um, and Aflac had gave me some money for the splint. I think like $225. I put it into this medical folder at that time. Um, well, anyway, I got a hospital bill from my ortho doctor and I had to pay $300 for the splint. They said the insurance wouldn't cover it, which Aflac paid the majority of it, but I only wore that splint for maybe a week and a half, and then my thumb was better. I think it came from me texting, and you know, I was doing like this all the time, and it caused like really bad pain here in the joint. Anyway, so I'm glad that I've been stuffing medical, but we're all the way down to 150 now. And I think that's what sinking funds are for, because things can happen. I'm going to put $10 in here today and I'll beef this one up when I get more money towards my next cash stuffing. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 40, 50, and 160. If the light keeps shifting, it's because I'm only using natural light. I'm right at the window. You guys can only see my setup. It's so small, tiny space in front of my window in my room. But um, the, the sun is going in and out. So that's why the lighting's changing. All right, next is birthdays. Um, I did spend $100 on a special birthday, so it needed to be done. Um, and with that, I have $215 left, which is 50, 20, 40, no, wait. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15. And I'm going to be adding to birthdays today $10. I really wasn't anticipating getting that birthday gift. Um, but you know what? Sometimes you feel the move to do things you wouldn't normally do. And I don't know if it's like that for you, but if I have it, I'll just be like, okay, I'll just do it. Um, so 
we should be at 225 now. 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. I mean, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 15, 20, 225. I just said 50s wasn't getting me, and then they started to get me. Let me stop. That's why you shouldn't brag until you get to the end of the uh, cash stuffing, because you never know how it's going to get you. Christmas, I'm going to be putting $50. You guys know I got a pretty lofty goal to get to for Christmas before the end of the year at $3,000. And I'm only at $1,600. So let me just make sure it's $1,600. And I'll update this tracker to say I'm going to be adding $50 today, which will be $1,650. One, one thousand, one, two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty. 70, 95, wait a minute, 1,000, 1, 2, 53, 54, 50, 70, 90, 500. What did I do with the other $100? Oh, I don't remember taking $100 out of here. Wait, 1,000, 1, 2, 53, 54, 50, 70, 95. Oh, man, I must have took some money out of here for something. Sometimes I'll be grabbing money out of one envelope just real quick where I know it is. But I don't know where that could have went. I, I'm going to owe this. I'm going to put an I O U 100 because I don't have time. And once I do that, that'll be $1,650. So I'll make sure to put that other $100 back in there. I don't know what the heck. 1, 2, 53, 54, 450, 70, 90. Five. Okay, well, let me put the other 50 in here before I forget about that. And then $100 I will owe to Christmas. Next cash stuffing, it'll be in there because I must have took it out for something, like something real quick and didn't put it back. I can't think right now. I hate when that happens. That's almost got me like sweating right now. <laughs> and I ain't trying to be sweaty. Okay, next is um, Boss Funds. Mm -hmm. Come on, boss. Come on out of there. All right. Boss should have 175. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 175. Okay, at least that one's right. And um, for boss, I'm going to be adding $20. And that'll make it 195. And I'm just going to add um, a $20 bill. And that'll be 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 195. Get in there. Get in there. Stop playing. All right, travel. I'm going to be adding 30. Speaking of travel, y'all hear them airplanes? It's time for me to go on a trip. Maybe that was a sign. 28, 21, payday. And I'm at 30. And let's see. 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 56, 650, 70, 90, 710, 730, 50, 70, 90, 810, 820. Okay, that's right. And then we're going to add $30, which will be a 20 and a 10. I'm really going to have to balance my account to these... Um, cash placeholder slips to make sure that my account is right. Maybe the extra hundred dollars is in there. I'm not sure. One, two, three, 54, 55, 56, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 7, 30, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 8, 30, 40, 8, 50. All right. $850 in travel. And my sister, she's thinking about going somewhere for Columbus weekend or whatever. So we might go somewhere then. Um, just like a trip with just a few of us. Gingy the cat is next. And Gingy should have 200, which is 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 90, and 200. And for Gingy, I'm going to be adding a $10 bill. Yeah. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 90, 210. Let me just update her tracker real quick. And 
She stand, she hold them with that 200 though. I'm telling you, I'll be like, well, let me at least keep 200 in here in case something go on. But um, luckily nothing has gone on yet. Emergency fund, I'm gonna fund this when I do my challenge video, my savings challenge video, because that's one of my savings challenge trackers. Beauty, I'm not putting in anything in there right now. One month ahead, I do wanna put $25. This is a fund that I started in case ever, kind of like a uh-oh fund or if my bills go over, that's what it's really going to be used for because my electric bill was much higher than I thought. And I thought, I, it kind of unnerves me to have to take that out of my emergency fund. So this will be for just like if bills run over and I'm hoping to have at least one month's worth of income here in addition to what I have in my emergency fund. And one month ahead for me is probably going to be at least like two grand. So I'll be working towards that. I have my own envelope, Salisa, that has some money in here that I'm not using yet. But when I want to do something nice for myself, I will. And the way that these bills are crooked is messing with my OCD. There we go. <laughs> and um, last, I have giving. And giving, I want to put $30. And I already have some in giving right now. I said I wasn't going to keep a tracker for giving because it just comes and goes so quickly, but I have 51, 5, 10, 115, and I'm going to add in the 30. So that'll be 51, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. 145 will be the total. Let me just get rid of this tracker. 145 will be the total that's in giving as of right now. And then I made some new envelopes for my challenges. There's investments I'm not going to put anything into. Bank deposit goes back to the bank. This is for my $1,000 savings, house renovations, spring break, winter weather challenge I'm going to be doing. I'll show you guys that in the next video. Furniture, and I'll explain that one, as well as the Monster Mash. So I made a couple of new ones just because I want them to go along with my savings challenges. Let me give some shout outs to um, some people who commented in my last video. So hold on one second for that, okay? Okay, so the first person that I wanted to give a shout out for being a real one and watching my last video, which was all about passive income ideas, is going to be Sophia Milton. Thanks, girl, for showing up in my comment section, putting the emoji down there. We know you a real one. All right, the next one is Anna S. And she put a comment and she also just put a single emoji. This one is just a single emoji, but I do remember replying to her comment. And I think she was asking for more cash stuffing videos. So Anna, this one's for you, girl. All right, and thanks for being a real one and showing up in my comments. And finally, the last one I have is Afro Sizemar. She says, hi, Salisa. Thank you so much for this valuable resource. It was in-depth and practical. Many great ideas. Redbubble looks like fun. Appreciate you making a distinction between investing time and or money. Yes. Thank you, girl, for being a real one. Always in my comments. I see you. You're always here, always supporting, and I love you for that. Seriously. So yes, I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the side hustle video. If you didn't have a chance, go ahead and check it out. And thank you so much, Afro Sizeman, for being here watching my videos. All right. So that's the end of this video. If you made it all the way to the end, go ahead and put this hashtag right here, which is cash stuffing for life. If you put that hashtag, it's possible you'll get a shout out in the next video as well. I also want to mention, don't forget, I'm doing a 10,000 K live giveaway on September the 30th at 8 p.m. here live on YouTube. Come join the fun. I'm the type of person who likes to give away gift cards. I'm just going to tell you that right now. The majority of my presents are something similar like that because I like ease. If you've ever seen me on Instagram and doing a giveaway, it's always about doing something that's very easy via email, a gift card. So, but come join the fun and it shouldn't last that long. I'm thinking maybe 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, come join me September 30th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here live on YouTube. And I've never done a test run, so I really hope that this goes well. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here. Comment the hashtag if you want to be possibly mentioned in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Take care.